Being able to estimate whether your answer is correct or not is a very, very, very useful ability to have. Um, it can quickly tell you whether your answer is in the right ballpark or whether you need to recalculate it because it's way off the mark. So here I'm going to show you a couple of simple examples of guesstimating. So say we need to work out 1,234 times 1,234. Now, if we use our calculator, uh, we might get an answer something like uh, this. Now, you've got to remember, just because a calculator is a powerful tool, doesn't mean you're always going to get the right answer using it. Maybe you mistype on the keys, maybe you forget to type in a number properly, or maybe you use plus instead of minus, or something like that. So say we got this answer. Well, it's always good to estimate or guesstimate whether the answer you got makes sense, whether it's in the right ballpark. So what you can do is work out what each of the numbers involved in your calculation are approximately equal to. That's what that wiggly equal sign means, approximately equal. So 1,234 is approximately equal to 1,000. So we can rewrite the problem with our approximate numbers in. So 1,000 times 1,000. Now the reason we're rounding our numbers is so that they're easier to work with. So we can do this calculation in our head. We don't need to use our calculator. Now what we can do is split it up into two bits. First of all, we can multiply the numbers at the front of each number. So let's multiply the ones together. So 1 times 1 equals 1. And then let's add up all the zeros. So we've got three zeros in the first number and three zeros in the second number. So what we can do is put these zeros together. So we've got three zeros and another three zeros which makes six zeros all up. So now what we've got to do is put together these two parts. So we put together the one and the six zeros and we'll get our approximate answer to this question. So we have a one and what I'm saying here is our answer should approximately equal one followed by six zeros which is one million. Now, the answer we got was, uh, we didn't get a million, what we got was 151,782. Now, if you look at our rounding off, we rounded both of our numbers down, so you'd expect our answer to actually be bigger than our estimated answer of a million. So you'd expect our answer to be bigger than a million. Now we got 151,000. Now that's a lot smaller than a million. Uh, so this probably means we've got the wrong answer. So let's cross this out. Our uh, estimated answer has shown that we've probably done something wrong. So let's use our calculator again and recalculate it. So 1,234 times 1,234. Now let's be extra careful this time, and our answer we get using our calculator should be 1,522,756. Bingo! Well this is both somewhat close to our estimated answer of a million, and it's also larger, which is what we expected our estimated our actual answer would be. So this is probably the right answer. No guarantees, but it's a lot better than our first answer we got. Now, often when a teacher's marking an exam like this and you make a mistake like this, they'll try and work out where you went wrong so they don't deduct all your marks because of a stupid mistake. So in this case, what is very, very common is that you can sometimes forget to enter digits in your calculator. So in this case, if you multiply 1,234 by 123, you get the first answer we got, which was wrong, because we'd forgotten to put the 4 in at the very in the at the very end of the second number. So this sort of shows you how easy it is to make these sort of mistakes and why it's very important to estimate your answers.